Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So we have today this website, it's called data.gov and it's a comprehensive online uh, repository and platform that provides access to a vast collection of open data seeds from various governments or government agencies in the United States. And this video will be exploring the wealth of opportunities offered by data.gov diving into its key features and showcasing how it can empower you to leverage open data for researchers, analysis, innovation, and decision making. And to get started with this website, simply head on over to data.gov or data.gov uh, and get in to the official site. So now we are in the home page or the official the interface of the website where you can find these uh, key features here the data reports open government and to contact them or the supports if you have any issue or any problem and the user grid you will find it right here to know how you use the data.gov so this is the background here and the data.gov catalog harvesting and finding data sets So you need just to take a quick look to uh, this user GUID uh, before you start using it, the website. And like you see with me here, the GeoSpital dataset, or we can also call it uh, the extensive dataset collection. The data.gov provides access to vast collections of diverse datasets from various government agencies. It covers a wide range of topics such as health, education, transportation, finance, climate, and more. And for the other guidance, we have the data.gov, uh, CKEN, API and data sets total and collections and to contact them or from here if you have any problem or any issue so now we uh, open the data principle that the data.gov follows the principle of open data making making governments generated data free uh, lie available to the public these promote uh, transparency uh, accountability and collaboration by allowing individuals and organizations to access and use the data for various purpose like you see just here federal uh, city there is a lot of purposes here that they use the data for it and you can just the search from here and this key feature is called the search and discovery the platform offer robust search and discovery capabilities allowing users to easily find specific data sets or explore data related to specific topics or agencies user can apply filters browse uh, categories or utilize keyword search to narrow down their results from here and you can order by or uh, filter by here the relevance and name uh, ascending name descending and if you want something very specific you can just do it in the search or uh, data sets and also we have uh, something other in the filter it's from the lo location like you see you see this map here and the topics and the topics categories uh, the data sets types you can filter uh, wherever you want to see the data test that you looking for and this one here um, we can filter by the location that mean it uh, offers to us the international open data access the data.gov collaborates with international open data uh, initiatives allowing users to access data sets from various countries these facilitate cross-country data analysis and promote global knowledge sharing and also there is a very important thing in the data.gov it's about the feedback and improvements it encourages user feedback 
uh, to improve the platform and enhance data accessibility. Users can provide feedback on data sets, suggest improvements, and report issue contributing to the continuous development on or off the platform. Air for the government, like you see with me here. It's present to us the collaboration and the community engagement. The data.gov fosters a community of data enthusiasts, researchers, and developers through forum uh, challenges and events. Users can connect, share insights, collaborate, and projects, and promote the use of open data for social benefits. And also that mean it uh, offers to us also the data quality and metadata or the metadata it uh, emphasizes the importance of data quality and provides metadata for each uh, data sets including uh, descriptions data source formation uh, data updates frequency this helps users assess uh, the reliability and relevance of the data so here we have some links, like example for the open government, this one here, the data.gov implements the Open Government Data Act, the title 2 of the Foundation uh, for Evidence-Based uh, Police Making Act of 2018, Public Law uh, 115 and 435. The Open Government Data, you can just click on the link here to uh, get to uh, the site and read more. And for this one here to open data in the United States, we have this link here to download the full list of the current 313 open data lists or uh, data sites, excuse me. You need just to click to the link and it will just download over here. You can open it. So it's in here, like you see with me, after download it. It's about 313 sites, like we see already in here. And from here, you can just do the data download and the API access. The users can download data sets in various uh, formats such as uh, CSV and GSON and XML, making it uh, convenient for further analysis and processing. Data.gov also provides APIs. Uh, I mean application programming interfaces that allows developers to access and integrate the data into their own application. So this is our video today. I hope you guys understand. If you like the video, please subscribe for more and follow me to see more videos like this. So like usual, my guys, let me tell you bye-bye to the next video and next uh, website. I hope you still at good health until that time.